Hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to take a look at another MRE today. Uh, the one we uh, have right now is menu number 24, Southwest Beef and Black Beans, packaged by the Warnick Company. Let's go ahead and get her opened up here. And for those of you who haven't quite done a lot of peelable seals, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's kind of like this little triangle. You really want to try and peel right at the tip of that triangle because if you try from any other angle, it t does tend to be a little bit harder. But if you get right there at the triangle, everything sort of seems to work out a little bit better. Let's check out our contents. All right. Tortillas. Chipotle. That's interesting. Chipotle tortillas. I don't know if I've necessarily seen that, but that should be, uh, should be interesting. We have our accessory pack. We'll look at that here in a second. Chocolate chip toaster pastry. Hmm. Wonder if that's uh, like a pop tart or maybe something else. We'll get into that. Uh, that should be fascinating. Beef snack strip. Very cool. And I guess uh, let's check uh, the dates. We'll see where these are from. So, 153rd uh, day of 2014. So, this would have been a 2014 MRE. So, basically about, uh, you know, two years old. So, yeah, we're in good shape. We have our FRH or flameless ration heater. Got a little bit of uh, plain cheese spread. That's uh, a little hard. Definitely uh, in need of uh, some kneading, maybe, to uh, <laughs> or some warming up. So let's set that aside for a second. We've got our MRE spoon. And, okay, that's kind of nice little dessert-ish item. Apple pieces in spiced sauce. Hmm. So not really applesauce, but sort of maybe? I don't know. Guess it could be like a like a syrup or something, but uh, that's kind of cool. All right, there we go. Mocha cappuccino instant powder. Always nice. These are these are usually pretty pretty darn good. And again, you know, nice to have a, a nice tall bag uh, with a zip top so you can shake it really well. Just would prefer to have a you know like a base so you could sit it down. It's the only complaint about those. Of course, we do have the. Um, Sleeve instead of the box. These are newer ones. And our entree of the Southwest Beef. We get a date code of 4192, so 192nd day of 2014 on that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we'll start our heating process here. Um, I think I'm, I'm probably going to throw the, uh, the cheese spread in there just so that we have a nice warm cheese spread. And because we have tortillas, so we're kind of making like a taco sort of deal. And we'll probably put the tortillas in there. Although this isn't an, old, uh, an older ration, tortillas do tend to uh, get a little bit, um, they lose their pliability. A little bit, so we're gonna we're gonna warm them up because I like a nice warm tortilla anyway. But uh, just for the purposes of the package, we're gonna set our, uh, our just our entree in here. Okay, so we'll just uh, take it up above the fill line and attempt to fill it in between the fill line. Although, as uh, I've already stated, I sometimes overdo it. I did a pretty good job that time. I did not necessarily overfill it. Good job. All right, so let's lay it flat for just a few uh, to get uh, everything working here in that heating element. And I think we're starting to kick off here a little bit. I feel a little bit of heat working. So let's go ahead and uh, get our entree into the sleeve. And I sort of misspoke a little bit. Uh, well, I, I didn't show you this, but uh, this actually does fold down if you want to fold it down, as opposed to having it out like I did in my last video. Uh, although, I'm just going to leave it out because I do like to kind of tuck it in there a little bit more. But just something if you wanted it to stand. And I'm going to go ahead and set my cheese spread back here. And uh, 
you know, we'll just we'll just sort of pack the tortillas here in the front. They, you know, I don't need them to be hot, but just maybe a little warm would be uh, would be uh, nice. So I do feel some heat coming off of there. Don't see a lot of you know steam or whatever coming out, but we will let that go for a few and see what it does. Prop up against a rock or something. Just want to get it at an angle. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, open our accessory pack now as well. These accessory packs and some of the newer ones have uh, definitely gotten smaller. Matches seem to not be as common <laughs> in some of these newer ones I've looked at, but we do have our toilet paper. We've got a lemon beverage base powder here. This would basically that go in, a, in your water bottle. Gum, moist towelette, and a packet of salt. So it still has some of the old standbys, but a couple of, uh, couple of you know, uh, subtractions. Got our tray here. Let's go ahead and start tearing into stuff. We'll look at our uh, beef snack strip. And, you know, these are always good. I've seen these, uh, you know, in a few, and I think in the one of the last videos I did, uh, we also had had these going as well, so... And they're always they're always tasty. Packaging's uh, pretty hearty there. So there we go with that. Chocolate chip toaster pastry. Uh, <laughs> looks like it might have had a remnant of another bag on it. Uh, don't think that that's anything. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Basically a pop tart. That's interesting. As soon as I got out of the bag, you definitely smell the chocolate uh, aspect of that. Um, I'm not quite sure where this fits in, honestly. It's kind of like uh, a breakfast item, really. And uh, and all of a sudden, we're getting it in in this MRE. I I don't I don't know if I fully understand that, but you know, okay, <laughs> we'll we'll let it ride. A little bit of a sweetness there. Get our apple pieces in the spice sauce. We'll take a look at those. And that does have the long tear strip. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, kind of just like, you know, apple slices in, in sort of like a syrupy sauce. Kind of reminiscent of maybe like a pie filling or something of that. Nature. That's a good... Uh, good little portion of, uh, of apples. Um, you know, a lot of older MREs, fruit wasn't necessarily a main priority, but, uh, but it's, it's nice to have, uh, have a little bit of fruit, uh, here and there. It definitely does, uh, do you some good. Let's go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll move on and we'll make our drinks up here. So we have our, um, mocha cappuccino instant powder. Yep, those always smell really nice, and they taste good too. And we do have fill line here, which I will try to adhere to, as at all possible. As I just get my bench wet. Eh, a little bit more. <laughs> What's a workbench for? Jeez. I feel like I'm not uh, not doing this justice. Okay, there we go. Should have had enough in there by now. Go ahead and seal that up. Bring it down a little bit, and we're gonna just shake it up here. Get all the powder mixed in, and uh, there's never quite too much shaking when it comes to these, because some of that powder just clings into the bottom there. And you do want to make sure it's it's nice and incorporated. So I think that should do it. Sit down in there. And we'll go ahead and pour that out for you. Probably could have used a little bit more water, but uh, there it is. Nice little drink. Like I said, these are always these are always quite nice. And then. Uh, 
you know, that is going to take the place of your, you know, your hot coffee. Not everybody likes hot coffee all the time. So then we will also make up our beverage base powder, our lemon lemonade beverage base powder here. And these usually call for about 20 ounces of water, which is what this, coincidentally, this cup is supposed to be 20 ounces. Okay. And add our powder. I think we got it all. Yeah, just go ahead and stir this up here. Take it on. Looks like that's incorporated all pretty well right off the bat. You don't really have there are a couple little floaties in there, but again, you know that's that's to be expected. Okay. You can definitely smell the the lemony smell off of that, so that's very good. Um, our FRH started off a little bit there, but it definitely. I mean, it, there's still some heat, but not a not a whole ton. I think I just have bad luck with FRHs maybe, but I, I mean there's some heat in there. We're going to let that go just a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and just, you know, taste test what we have on the plate uh, so far. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm interested in this Pop-Tart. Now, this definitely feels like it's seen some better days maybe. It's it's very, it's, it's like it's getting ready to just fall apart. Um, Definitely does have, you know, a, a stuffing in the center there. Very chocolatey. But, you know, again, I just don't understand why this is in here. But let's try it. Mm hmm Yeah, it's good. So, uh, chocolate, you know, pastry. A uh, little dry, but most Pop-Tarts are anyway. <laughs> of course, these are meant more for like uh, going into the, the toaster obviously toaster pastry get it but um, they're they're also good teat standalone but yeah it's, it's not bad little little desserty type deal I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink of my lemonade powder here just uh, wash out the uh, a little bit of the dryness very good always refreshing I do like the lemonade powder. That's always good. Let's try a beef snack. Also very good. I've never been disappointed in those. Um, good flavor. A little salty. But, you know, again, not bad. Always tastes very good. Take a sip of our... Uh, or uh, cappuccino drink here. <sighs> very good. Yeah, very good all around. I usually always like those. And let's dig in our apples a little bit here. Get a couple in there. Also very good. Sweet. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon in there, which is uh, which is always welcome. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a sweet apple. The apples have a a good consistency to them. They're not completely mushy. They have a little bit of texture still. Um, but obviously cooked down. But yeah, those are quite good. I enjoy those. Okay, so. We've given this a little bit. Let's go ahead and just uh, take her out. We'll take a look at them real quick. Got our Chipotle tortillas. And they've got a little bit of warmth to them. Not, not a whole heck of a lot, but I put them on the other side of the FRH, so I didn't really expect much out of them. I guess I just really wanted hot cheese. I don't know. All right, looky there. Take on a different, uh, different color. Because normally you just get the normal flour ones, and these these seem really nice and pliable. But of course, the the downfall to, to tortillas, MRE tortillas, is that they always eventually start to fail in the middle of the tortilla. But that's just where the crease was. That's how they've been sitting. But these seem reasonably pliable. They smell good. They definitely have a uh, 
uh, a, a chipotle, you know how you get like chipotle and the adobo sauce in the store. They definitely have that sort of smell to them. Um, but yeah, those should be quite nice. I'm, uh, I'm pretty, I would be pretty happy with those as a taco shell. In a world where now we have Dorito taco shells and everything, that should be a nice taco shell. Let's check out our uh, cheese sauce here. And that's got some heat to it. Ouch. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Yes, the FRH was not disappointing. That definitely stole the show. I think it just didn't. It wasn't a very didn't react very much, but uh, but certainly head up the cheese spread very nicely. All right, let's go ahead and just pop it on a uh, on our tortilla real quick here, and we'll try it out, and then we'll uh, we'll unleash the entree. Proving that no two cheese spreads are ever the same, and it could be due to the heating as well, uh, you know, because that, that of course can uh, cause cheese to um, uh, separate. This is separated a little bit, smells exactly like what you would uh, find in a, in a cheese spread, so I'm not worried about it that much, but the heating has drawn out some of the oils from the cheese, so you see a little bit of the shiny here, but, uh, you know, price to pay for hot cheese. Let's try it out. Mmm. <laughs> I gotta tell you, between the chipotle and the and the tortilla and that cheese spread, that makes me a happy camper. That was just like a really nice bite. <laughs> I uh yeah, I think if the entree is as good as just its parts, um uh, this should be a, a really happy eating experience. Take this out of its heater. Heating element wanted to hold on there. Okay. So yeah, it's got some good heat to it. Not uh, not gonna you know fry your hand off or scald you, but um, definitely a little bit hotter towards the bottom. So maybe the top heating element didn't quite engage as much, which you know I've seen happen more than once. Got the long, long ways. Uh, Tear notch. Oh yeah, that smells good. Definitely see some uh, strips of beef and corn and bell peppers and uh, beans and yeah, that looks to be very nice. Just get everything out of there. Very good. Okay, very colorful looking, very colorful. Um, let's go ahead and try it here a little bit. We've got some beef and beans, just get the, the so-called ultimate bite. we got a little bit of all the components there, I think. Let's try her out. Mmm. That is seasoned nicely. Beef falls apart in your mouth. The sauce is good that it comes in. That is a that is a really nice beefy, meaty uh, entree there. I, I really enjoy that. Yes. Let's make ourselves a little half taco. I'm gonna start with a little bit of cheese on the bottom. Let's get some of this in here. Try it all together as I believe it was intended to be. <laughs> Might have made myself a little bit of a messy, messy deal here, but hey, we'll uh, we'll deal with it. Bonsai. Mmm. Had a bit of a blowout in the back. <laughs> Should have known better. That is really good. Very good taco. I inhaled that one. <laughs> Excuse my manners. Be a cheese spread mixed in with everything present. That was uh, that was quite good. 
Uh, has a little bit of spice to it, but certainly not a lot. Maybe a jalapeno cheese spread would have been great. <laughs> Just really kick our butts. But all in all, I think that this is a, a this is a great um, meal. So yeah, it's menu 24, Southwest Beef and Black Beans from 2014. Uh, I appreciate everybody coming by to look at uh, look at all my videos. Um, I appreciate the subscriptions, all the uh, comments and questions and likes and everything. That's all very much appreciated and uh, continue to do so. Like I always say, leave your comments and questions and concerns if you need to. I'll be happy to answer if I can. Hit the old like button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you are so inclined, please subscribe to the channel. We try and grow and grow as the days go by. So anyway, guys, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.